Oh, so wait, I know what I was going to show you. Yes, Dr. White's. <laughs> so this is what you said you wore. Yeah. Dr. White's well, leaf pad and belt. Well, so can what's I just great about that, these is... Yeah, can I just tell you that I was yeah. nine years old when I started my period. Oh, wow. So that's and on you, the young can side. Can you imagine a nine-year-old girl having to go to school once a month wearing that? So it's just in case anyone's wondering, like, so this comes off, <laughs> does. right, here. Um, and all you do is, you, oh, it's got fluff on it. All you do is you just put it like that. <laughs> it goes right you around your ears. It's perfect. Yeah. This, oh, oh my God. <laughs> I'm coming out in the neighborhood. This is great. I have no idea. I'm, I'm not repurposing these. Can you add this? <laughs> you, I don't know. It doesn't quite oh, cover my mouth and nose, but it is, it is like a hammock for a Barbie doll. This is. is a large piece of equipment. It is. Um, and this, and the belt, I'm, I'm, I'm imagining your school skirt was elastic and like your like yeah. tights were elastic and your pants were elastic. And here's yeah. another piece of elastic. So you've just got like four stripes across your belly by the end of the night. That's right. Um, the benefit to this is though, it goes around your waist. So you can keep this on yeah. and like change your clothes without it being a hassle. Whereas like the modern ones like kind of stick into your pants with adhesive. So here's the modern, I mean, I'm not assuming you guys don't have these or use them every day. I'm just, just in case the viewers at home want to know. So this is um, with wings. The, um, the modern kind with, oh yeah, with wings, like in my <laughs> scene, with wings. <laughs> you can fly, so this is an aeroplane. Um, this one's a rocket. Um, so yeah, but like these are, um, th th so they are improved. I just sort of think that like, there was, um, I was just writing an article about this. So disposable menstrual products have sort of commandeered the market for uh, like, you know, nearly a hundred years. But in the thirties, there were briefly menstrual cups and now menstrual cups are back. But in the 30s, they, that was when they were first introduced. So that was nearly 100 years ago. Mm. And I always get fluff in these just because they're like, sto they're all stored in the same bag. Sorry, not very <laughs> hygienic. Um, a menstrual cup, right? It's like a tampon that you can drink out of. I'm kidding. A menstrual cup, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, a menstrual cup is... Um, use the same way as a tampon. It's an internal menstrual product, but it holds the blood rather than absorbing it like a sponge. Um, this one's got a hole in it to show you that it's a demo model. It's not been inside a person. It is, the, you, they wouldn't normally, otherwise it would be a terrible design flaw. But the way you use it is, um, you, depending on the size of you and how strong your pelvic floor muscles are, you can get a narrower diameter one or a slightly wider one. But they're both quite, quite small. They are bigger than a tampon when they're open, but when you fold them in half, they're smaller. And there are different ways you can do the fold so that if you need like a thinner starting point, you can insert it like this and then release it inside. Just if you're using this, when you take it out, don't take it out like that because it'll just <laughs> go everywhere. But learn from my fail. I was really excited the first time I learned how to use them. Uh, luckily I was in a shower cubicle so we didn't have to like call the CSI guys. Um, <laughs> but the... Um, the design of it has a number of innovations now. Like there are some that you can open one-handed and release with a valve rather than tipping over. Um, there are some that have a bell shape where um, it squeezes in a bit so that if you have a shorter or lower cervix, you can make it a longer or shorter device. Um, mm -hmm. And then some come with like a little training cup to like teach you how to insert it, but it doesn't hold very much. So you can give it a go. And there are some brands that do like three or four sizes so that young women can use them as well, or young people who um, are cool with inserted products, but want to use reusables. Like most people tend to start off with um, like, a, like a pad of some kind. But the latest innovation is period pants. So menstrual underwear is new. It's just got a lining with like a cloth pad style, which yeah, you can also I've get. Heard like, about them, but I'm not so these are cloth pads. You could, this one's magnetic, which is really neat. A friend of mine in Wales designed this one. Um, so the magnet allows you to add more depth to the absorbency of the pad. Right. Um, and then the, the wings stay on better. So this is for like a small pair of pants. Um, mm -hmm. 
but then this is a pair of pants itself. So they've got a thicker gusset. Why? I just thought gusset would make a lovely name. Um, <laughs> um, but then they just um, last a few hours. So you do have to change them, but the thicker ones last seven or eight hours. So like a whole day of school or, or work or a whole night in bed. 